Hello and welcome to our next set of videos in which we're going to start to look at classroom management and behaviour management. But before we do, I've entitled this video, Welcome to Your Class. And I'm going to ask you the question, just who's running the show? Well, this is your class, so it's time to step up. It's time to act like it's your class. Now, I'm not bothered about political correctness. It's your room. You've set it out exactly how you want. You've arranged the desks and who's sitting next to who. You've created the learning environment within which you want to teach and you want the children to learn. And you've decided on the nature and type of displays that are on the walls. In your planning, you've made conscious decisions on the rules and the routines of the classroom. And basically the who, what, where and when. And the bottom line is, it's your job to make sure that every child in your classroom achieves to their maximum potential, both personally and academically. Now, at this point in the arrangement, you'll notice that children haven't had an input, and that's quite correct. But gradually, as the first weeks start to pass, and you're into the first term, you'll notice that the dynamic in the class starts to change. As the class works together, as they support each other, as they share happy and sad times, little by little, quite imperceptibly, that dynamic changes and the class starts to gel together. This doesn't happen automatically. This has got to be supported, fostered and engineered by you. Every lesson, every day, every week and every term of the year. Now you may say to me, well, Charles, I've got a difficult class with some difficult children. How on earth am I going to get the whole class to bond together? In the next videos, as I say, we're going to look at classroom management and behaviour management. And I'll take you step by step through the process of introducing these things that will bring a well-ordered, structured approach to your classroom. So in answer to the question, whose class is it? It starts by being your class and ends by being our class. By putting in the vital elements, by leading from the front, you can ensure a well-ordered, fun, caring and progressive learning environment within which all the children can achieve to their maximum potential and develop a love for learning.